Hello there guys, this is F156 Blackout and today we are back in Skyrim at the Skyforge for some more Roman armour and this one's actually legit. Now I've done a bit of research and I found that this the armour I'm about to show you is an actual fact based on the Roman sort of legionary sort of general. Um, and for you that don't know, just a quick bit of history, every Roman legion um, was fashioned into sort of a division which I believe were called cohorts don't test me on that because I might get that wrong but I'm pretty sure every legion was in a cohort but, and every legion had a general had a, like a captain slash a general and every cohort had a general that the generals of the legion would report to and then that would then report to the leader of the army right so this is it here this is the imperial general armor um and you get this for assassinating General Talius if you are the Stormcloaks. And I don't know about the Imperials yet. I don't know if you get it for becoming an Imperial General. You might, you might not. But, um, yeah. So, this I believe is a form of heavy armour in Skyrim. So, yeah, it does a um, armour rating damage of um, 93. I'm just going to show you that when I just put my shield on. Um, it is 93. Yeah, there we go. See in the bottom left. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a couple other armors, just thought I'd throw us in here. Um, they've been informed by Echelon that the ninth, the Nightingale armor for the Thieves Guild is based around the Persian Immortal armor that was used at the Battle of the Thermopylae, which is sort of the 300 movie. And, um, the banded steel armor is based on the Germanic. Well, isn't not might not be in Skyrim necessarily, but um, in terms of sort of armor that they found, the banded steel armor is sort of looks more like Germanic armor from the Roman and Hellenistic period. So that's your little bit of history today, guys. Um, there was another armor that we found, which was um, I can't even. Pentius something which is the legionary first cohort so once I get a full set of this armor I will put it on I'll just show you um, now for a couple of people that might not not know this um, you can actually get spears in Skyrim and to get them you got your I'm just gonna show you map. I've not been here yet but I know what you do is you travel up north to the snowy places oh we've got a lag there Go up north, and you want to go up here, I believe. Somewhere about here. Or is it over here? Yeah, somewhere about this area here. And you will find a sort of frozen camp. Actually, it's about here, right? There's a frozen camp, and it's sort of dead, just dead people. And they have, uh, I think they're called Horker Spears. And you fire them from a bow. Now, they're extremely short range, but they do do a lot of damage. It's one shot. I believe for most sort of low levels and maybe one or two shots and I think if you sell them you can get them um, yeah that's pretty much this entire video and um, I will be uh, previewing some more sort of uh, armor and Skyrim and um, especially sort of um, Romanistic stuff but um, just quickly, quick update for all you guys, our capture card that we um, ordered will be here either tomorrow, which will be well, Thursday, because I'm below, oh no, it'll be Friday, because I'm uploading this on Thursday night, oh, Thursday early morning, so I'll be here on Friday, possibly even today, um, or maybe a wee bit later than that, and want to know please comment down below i am toying between doing halo commentary and skyrim commentary and i would greatly appreciate any help that you can you guys could give me because at the moment i am just completely screwed so um thanks for watching guys um and i hope you enjoyed this video and good night